Hey guys. So today I'm gonna do a thing and I'm very excited about it. I just woke Gus up. Say hello baby. Say hello. But okay. So I saw this girl. I don't remember her name. But I was looking up vinyls and things like collections and things on YouTube and uh, she did this thing called the vinyl tag well I was gonna do that and I wrote the questions down and I realized my birthday is like three months away and I'm gonna buy some more records with the money sorry allergies the money that I get for my birthday so I'm gonna wait to do that until I get my two or three records that I want and I'm sorry that I'm not wearing makeup. Let me show you why. Because I need more foundation. That's insane. And Colby's graduation's coming up and I gotta wear makeup to that so I ain't, I, I sorry, but I ain't wasting it on a video. If my naked face scares you, then you didn't see that. But anyway, let's just get right into it. I'm going to go with my singles. And the first one I have is Let Your Love Flow. And Inside of My Guitar. By the Bellamy Brothers. Yeah, both sides are by the Bellamy Brothers. Okay, so I think all but one of these I have gotten from my grandmother and thrift stores and like on Amazon for like $2 with $3 shipping. So like thrift store stuff. One of these was a gift from Dear Sweet Colby. Also, none of these but that one are new albums. And then we've got I Want You to Want Me. I want you to me. And the clock strikes ten. The clock strikes ten. Both of these are by Cheap Trick. And then my favorite. Great Lightning and Rock and Roll is here to stay. That's my favorite one of these little single top. I forget what they're called. I know what they're called, but I forget. Morning Star. Oh boy, I was reading that. Nope, nope, nope. Still not right, Leanne. Morning Star by Cool and the Gang. And then Celebration Buckle in the Gang. All of these I got from the same place, a hospice down in Gunnersville. And two more left. The Wombo by Dale, Dale Shannon. And Little Town Flirt by Dale Shannon. And then The Love of My Life. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Autumn to May. One of my favorite songs, Don't Think Twice, It's Alright, by Peter, Peter, Paul, and Mary. And that's all I have for these. Now let's get into the massive. <laughs> Not massive, it's like... Sorry, none of those have cases, so they're wrapped up in a newspaper. Okay, so... This one is show up, show up, please, show up, please. Why is it doing this? I'll just read it to you then. Batman, the Bat Boys, and then Batman, the Bat Boys, 
that this record is just Batman. And then I've got my hair album. I don't know why red is showing up like that. But as you can see, this poor thing has been really well loved. And I had to clean it up because it was dirty. Like, it was gross. But it was hair. And it's musical. And I want it. And I, I needed it. I enjoy taking in things that have had a tough life and making their life better. Even if it is a piece of plastic. Then this, I'm not going to take it out. It's RCA Victor Ave Maria. And then a Fint... A halt. Yep. I only got it for Ave Maria. And I got it because RCA Victor... I, I've never felt a record this heavy. Like, that is thick compared to this. So I was like, that's neat. Gotta have that. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. Now, hmm, bae. Peter, Paul, and Mary. A song will rise. I got this from a record store in Gadsden. And as you can see, it was three bucks. And I got two Peter, Paul, and Mary records from there. And my collection is now complete. I almost cried on the way home because I was so happy that my Peter, Paul, and Mary collection was complete. Like, it was sad. <laughs> and then... Simon and Garfunkel. The concert in Central Park. And this... It's the first live, live album, album I ever heard on vinyl. And it blew my mind how wonderful it was. But, yeah. You're getting an idea of the stuff that I like. Aren't you glad? You're getting to know me. Getting to know me. This is the second one that I got. It is Peter, Paul, and Mary in the Wind. I just, I love them so much. I'm sorry, I'm screaming. I just am very passionate about them. The guy at the record store was like, add on a blue dress and match in blue converse. And he was like, you dress too cool to listen to lame lame ass Peter Paul and Mary or lame old Peter Paul and Mary but whatever <laughs> I am a lame at heart <laughs> and then there is my Oklahoma record that I featured in a discount store haul and I still really really love it a lot I really wish this wouldn't do this what's next all my records are falling to the front. This thing is full, and like when you pull two or three out, and then there's my sound of music. Also, Bay. Just look at how gorgeous Julie Andrews is. Jealous. But anyway. And then Chopin. I put this on like when I'm studying. And then here is Colby's record. Grateful Dead. In the dark. And I listen to this more than he does. <laughs> I used to tell him, hey, I'm listening to your record. And he'd be like, okay. So I just stopped telling him. <laughs> Not that it matters, like, we're gonna get married and all of this is gonna be ours anyway, but you, you get me. You get my point, right? Maybe. And then this is the first Peter, Paul, and Mary record that I bought. I bought it 
Christmas of a year ago, two years ago. And best thing I ever bought. Ever. I'm taking these all out and keeping them all out because I really need to organize this. And then in the back are the things that I got from my grandmother. Because at first I had her record player. Well, it was my granddaddy's, but just a bunch of old, old country that I love that doesn't suck like it does now. Waylon Jennings. That's a that's a really great record. This is my Aunt Kim's. You know it's my Aunt Kim's because it has her name and someone's phone number written on the lead singer of Blondie's face. It's not my favorite, but I dance to it. <laughs> You know, in like sleepover movies and stuff when they would just put on a song and just jump around the whole room? I do that by myself and I do it to that. Diana Ross and the Supreme. Supremes. I haven't listened to that in forever. I really need to put that on. My mom was telling me the other day that I need to listen to more Motown. And then got some Sister Sledge. Also my Aunt Kim's because it also has her name on it. We are family. I don't know why she felt the need to write her name on all of these. But it doesn't matter. They're mine now. Then this poor thing is broken. Papa's got a brand new bag by James Brown. Two million, what? Two million seller? Something? But, oh gosh. As you can see, poor baby is ripped up. I gotta fix that. We ain't done yet, y'all. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. More Waylon Jennings. Some young Johnny Cash. I mean, look at that face. You're in my shop. My grandmother has this back room in her house, and it was just full of records. I sat in there for three hours, picking out all of the ones that I wanted. Ooh, I bought this the other day. The chipmunks sing the Beatles. It's annoying, but it's cute. And then here's another one of my Aunt Kim's. I ain't about it. I don't really listen to it. It's got naked ladies on the back of it. I... It's got naked ladies on the front of it. This is gonna get age restricted. I... I tried to like it, and I just, I don't. And then, 20 Famous Country Hits. Uno momento. Oh, there's no more Gus. Let's see. I'm trying, y'all. And then... Donna Summer. Summers. Summer. That was also my Aunt Kim's. <laughs> I got some of my mom's Alabama albums. And I brought them home. And she was so happy. They're in her room. Johnny Cash. I walked the line. And now here we are to, is this it? Is this, is that it? Yeah, that's the, 
the music. My dear sweet Colby bought me this. My nails look red, but they're pink. Haha, <laughs> fitting. But uh, he bought me this because I lost my CD. And then he bought me this right after I stole my grandfather's record player. He had three. It's not like I shorthanded him or anything. Guys, we're almost done. Ernest Tubb and Loretta Lynn. You may be from the country if this is in your record collection. And you still listen to it kind of frequently. Ooh. Another Peter, Paul, and Mary. Uh, this is not my favorite record of theirs, to be honest. Like, I love their voices. I'll always love their voices, obviously. But it's just, it's just not my fave. You dig? Oh, there's Batman. I'm Batman. That's it, guys. All I have left in here is some sheet music that I don't know how to play. I got... Chopin, Chopin, and I'm gonna butcher this. You ready? Pash, Pashbel, Pashbel Cannon. I'm so sorry. I know how to read it. I just don't know how to say it. But anyway. That is it for my record collection, guys. I'm sorry this was so long. I hope you didn't die. <laughs> anyway, I love you, and I hope this was fun. I enjoyed showing you the stuff that I like, and maybe we like some of the same things. Who knows? But I like you! So we should like the same thing, because you should like you too, because you're perfect! Anyway, I hope you are having a wonderful day, and goodbye, I love you, goodbye. <laughs>